Hi, I'm Scott, and today we're going to perform maintenance on this gas insert fireplace on Dad It Yourself. What happened? Okay, so here's today's project, my gas insert fireplace. I don't know if you can see it, but got some weird dirt on the glass there. It's a little foggy around the bottom. And then you see this down here? Those are paint chips. And way up there, if you look in, you can see how the paint has flipped off or flaked away. So I'm going to follow the manufacturer's recommendations for cleaning this gas insert. So my wife and I bought this house in 2014 and we were really fortunate that the builder provided us with this manual book that has all the instruction manuals for the different things that came installed with our house. Uh, appliances, home maintenance, irrigation system, garage door openers, and the instructions for this fireplace unit. So the steps I'm going to be taking today are specific to my fireplace. The one that's installed in your house may be different. This isn't intended to be a complete and thorough tutorial, but just to show you some of the steps that are involved in maintaining a gas insert. Before I get started, I want to talk about safety. When working with electricity and natural gas, if you don't follow all of the steps in the manufacturer's instructions, this could lead to injury or even death and definitely property damage to your home. If you're uncomfortable with working with these, call a licensed professional. I have the instructions here on how to maintain this fireplace and I'm gonna follow every step that they recommend. To access the controls on the fireplace, I just have to remove this lower panel and it's just held with a couple of clips and magnets and it comes right out. So I hope you guys can see this here. It's kind of dark, but these are the controls. You get the gas shut off right here, this red knob. You have the on off power switch right here. And then way in the back over there where that black box is with the silver square is the power adapter that plugs into an outlet. Now, if your unit's hardwired, then you'll have to go back to the circuit breaker panel and turn the breaker off. But for me, it's right there. I just need to unplug the unit. But I'm gonna start by turning the gas off. And you know the gas is off when the knob is perpendicular to the pipe. If the knob is parallel with the pipe, that means gas is flowing. Turn off the power switch. And then reach way back in here if I can get in there. And unplug the unit. So the next step to remove the glass panel is to take out this bezel right here. That just slides right out. So there's two spring latches right here on the bottom that hold the panel in and it hangs from the top. Now just remember, uh, this fireplace hasn't been on, but the pilot light has been on. So the glass could be warm, but mine isn't. So let's pull this glass off now. So here's the front panel out in the shop. Uh, kind of hard to see, but there is a lot of clouding and dirt and moisture stains all over this glass. So what I'm going to do is start by cleaning the inside and the outside of this with a mild detergent. Probably just use Windex and uh, get a little elbow grease. So what I'm going to do now is get rid of all this loose paint that's in here. And don't worry, this will get a glass cleaning one more time before I put it back in. I just wanted to get all the tough stains out right now and it looks like most of those are off. So let's get rid of all these paint chips. So you can see I got a couple of spots here and a little bit down here where the paint's flaking off still. Got a plastic scraper here and I'm just gonna 
pull the rest of that loose paint off best I can. Make sure it's off. No more loose stuff on there. And I've got this sanding sponge with 220 grit. I'm just going to kind of feather those edges out a little bit so it's not so noticeable. Okay, so I have this thing all masked off, cleaned it, everything sanded, ready to go. And I'm going to use this Rust-Oleum High Heat Flat Black. Uh, I'll have a link to that and any other materials or tools I use in this video down in the description if you're interested. Let's spray this. So while that's drying and it may need a second coat, let's go inside and get the inside of that fireplace cleaned up. So while I'm waiting for the paint to dry, I'm going to do a cursory inspection of this fireplace. I'm going to look around and make sure there's no corrosion or the leads for the pilot light or the igniter are rusted or bad. I'm going to put all these rocks back up in place and I'm going to give it a good vacuum. Even though it's a sealed unit, it still gets a little bit of dusty in here. And what a better way to inspect this is using this gear light flashlight that I just picked up. It's pretty good. Look at that. Focus area. It uses three AAA batteries, or you can use a uh, 18650 rechargeable battery. And if you're interested in picking one of these up for yourself, I'll put a link down in the description. And as an added bonus, if you go to my Instagram page to the announcement for this video, and you comment with the word flashlight, I'll pick up somebody randomly and I'll send them two free flashlights. So check out my Instagram page when this video comes out and don't forget to comment the word flashlight for a chance to win one of these or actually two of these flashlights. So let's get this inspection done and get some cleaning done. I clean this all out and as you can see right here that's called rock wool and there's still some there but a lot of it was pretty beat up and some of it actually went up in the vacuum cleaner and unfortunately that's not something I can buy at my local Home Depot so I'm gonna have to order that and when it comes in I'm gonna replace some of that rock wool right there so that paint came out super nice look at that nice and smooth and flat I'm really happy with that all right, let's get this thing unmasked and reinstalled. Okay, so I've got the unit plugged back in, the power switch is back on, and the gas has been turned back on, parallel with the pipe now. Put this cover on and run it for a test. Just a few simple steps, and this fireplace is back in working order. Uh, clean glass, some new paint, vacuum it out, and it's ready to go. More efficient, a little bit brighter. 
but I have to emphasize, follow the manufacturer's instructions when working on one of these units. The hazards associated with gas and electricity cannot be overstated. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, put those down below. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And if you do, hit the bell for notifications. I've got some videos over here you may be interested in, and the subscribe button's over here. Thanks for watching. Dad it yourself.